So I'm trying to envision what would I do if I didn't have my nice setup. Let's say I only have a closet to do an interview in, I have very little space, and I have to work with what I got. So I am sitting on the floor of my office. One thing that's very interesting right now is that these video calls can be very intimate because you're basically inviting someone into your house. If you're setting up your laptop or your tablet in the kitchen or the living room or your bedroom, that's a very intimate setting. And so particularly for a job interview, I would recommend revealing as little as possible about where you're calling in from. So it's, it's good if you have a chair or a, a comfy space to actually set up with just right against a wall. <laughs> so I can literally, my back is now against the wall. I can lean on the wall and it doesn't look weird. And um, that allows me to not have anything revealed to the job interviewer. I've also, am now gonna turn on some lights. <laughs> so I have set myself up with two lamps. I could spend more time trying to adjust these so that they're closer, or farther, whatever looked good, but giving myself plenty of light so that I can see my face. And then the big thing is about the height of the laptop. So this is actually where most people go wrong. Whatever you're using, people either have it way up here and they're looking up at the camera, which is very awkward, or more likely you've got it like sitting in your lap or in some really low space and you're looking down on it. That is equally awkward. So what you wanna do is you wanna try to raise up your laptop. Now I'm gonna show you how I did this. I am trying to think like an AmeriCorps member. <laughs> so I took cardboard boxes, two cardboard boxes. I'm gonna use my camera here for a second. It's gonna get complicated. Oh, I need Kelsey. Can you give me um, the ability to share my screen? So I'll show you that in just a second. So I've got my laptop sitting on two cardboard boxes. And what I did was I actually put these papers on the wall behind me just so that I could figure out where to put my eye level with the camera. So you want to use the rule of thirds from photography. So in photography, they have something called the rule of thirds, which is you take the frame and you divide it by a third at the top, a third down here, and in three columns across. And in photography, you're looking to take whatever your subject is. Let's say you're taking a picture of a bird. You want your subject to end up on one of the intersection points in the rule of thirds. You don't want the subject um, to be too far off to the side too high or too low. So you can use the same concept when you're figuring out how to orient your camera. So that if you can get your eye level to be about at the top third of your video camera, then that's just about perfect. So as you can see, that just gives you the top half of your body. And this is why it's great to have a shirt with sleeves <laughs> because that helps to fill out the rest of your, your face and your look. Okay, so now, now that you see the rule of thirds, I can take this down. So normally what I would look for, and this isn't the best because it's adjusting now, but I would look for either a solid background of a wall, or I would look for a way to maybe sit on a couch or in a chair with something that is not distracting behind me. This isn't actually the best spot because I'm right near these um, outlets <laughs> and the outlets reveal the fact that I'm sitting on the ground. So I would probably look for something that's not those. But yeah, you can play around with this. What I would recommend doing is actually um, doing something like Facebook Live or Instagram Live or just using a video app or doing a selfie to just continue to take some pictures and get a sense of what looks good. All right, Kelsey, do we have any questions that have come in? We do not at the moment. Everyone's just uh, hanging on to every word you're saying. <laughs> All right, so I see that you've set up and enabled my camera. Now, everyone, please excuse me because you're about to see 
more of my office than I would usually tell people about. So apologize, but I am now doing something where I'm using the camera to show you what I have set up. Ooh, this is very meta. Okay, so basically, as you can see, I just have two cardboard boxes and I have my laptop sitting in front of me on top of those cardboard boxes. I also have just regular lamps that are sitting on the ground providing light. These lamps might not be the best, they seem a little too bright, but you can try to judge that for yourself. The other thing that I have done is I have put this rolled up um, yoga mat underneath me because I have wood floor and it would be really uncomfortable if I was doing a job interview to sit on a wood floor for a whole hour. <laughs> so instead I've, uh, I've got this seat behind me and then I can lean up against the wall. So there you go, just either a rolled up towel or a yoga mat that you sit on, have some sort of light source that's in front of you and then have something that's neutral behind you. And that's really all you need to do. And then the biggest thing is getting the laptop or the camera at the right height and making sure that you are making eye contact by actually looking directly at that camera.